Hey everyone, I welcome you all to this video. And today in this video, we are going to discuss about the work of a data analyst. And uh, in the end, we will also discuss about uh, my new data analytics bootcamp from basics to advanced. As I've already said that I'll be coming up with paid courses as well. So in that course, we have already covered important subjects and tools like Python, Power BI, Excel, SQL Server. And then we are going to enhance that course. We are further going to add Tableau and Snowflake as well. And Further, the existing content is also going to be updated and we already have uploaded more than 60 hours of content and there are like around more than 1500 enrollments so far. So we will discuss about that course as well and it is available like for less than 500 rupees, right? So I'll discuss about that in detail as well. But before that, let's have a word about, let's discuss about the work of a data analyst. And uh, I would like to take an example as well to illustrate and explain that uh, what is a storytelling and what is the work of a data analyst. So if in one word I had to explain the work of a data analyst, then I would simply say data analyst that it is nothing but storytelling. Right. And in order to do effective storytelling, in order to be a good storyteller, you should be having good idea, good understanding of the data. At the same time, you should be having good idea and good understanding about the domain as well. So better is your understanding about the data and the domain, easier it will become for you to explain the insights and to do storytelling. And the ultimate aim or the main aim behind uh, a data analyst uh, to be or being an effective or a good storyteller is that they should be able to help the businesses to take best possible business decisions in least possible time. So the ultimate aim is to help businesses to take best possible business decisions, best possible business decisions. in least possible time. That's what uh, we want to happen, right? So now let's take an example to understand this better. So let's say there is some company by the name ABC uh, Private Limited. Let's say there's an organization by the name ABC Private Limited. And this organization is basically uh, running a business and uh, they have business in four different regions. The very first being Northern region. Then we have Eastern region. Then we have West and then we have Southern region. And let's say uh, you are working as a data analyst for this organization. And apart from that, the organization has already provided you with the profit data. So you are having profit data available for certain regions, right? So let's say for different years, let's say we have 2021, then we have 2022, then we have 2023 and 2024. So we have profit values available for these different regions for different years. So let's say for Northern region, you were told, I'm writing all the values in crores, right? So for Northern region for 2021, let's say the value was equal to 2.21 crores. Then for 2022, the value was equal to 2.11 CR. Then the value was equal to 2.19 CR. And then in 2024, the value is equal to 0.58 CR, right? And for Eastern region, we will say, let's say the value is equal to 1.97 then let's say the value was equal to 1.98, 1.91 and 1.93. Then for the Western region, we have value equal to 2.7. Then we have 2.76, 2.69 and 2.67. Then for Southern region, we had value equal to 3.7, 3.78, 3.85 and 3.74. So if now we will try to analyze the data for each region, 
then you will see that if I'll talk about southern region first of all, so you can see that the value remains almost equal to 3.7 or 3.8, right? So it looks fine, right? The data for different years looks fine, like almost equal to 3.7 or like near about 3.8. If I'll talk about the western region, then the value is approximately equal to 2.7, like for all the years. So the value is equal to 2.7, then it is equal to 2.76. Uh, so it is around 2.7, right? Then again, if I talk about the Eastern region, so we have the value uh, equal to around 1.9, right? So we have the value equal to 1.91, then 1.98, so around 1.9, fine. And if we will talk about the Northern region, so the value for year 2021 is more than 2 CR, which is equal to 2.21. Then again, value is equal to 2.11, which is also fine. Then for 2023, the value is equal to 2.19. That is also fine. But for the year 2024, you can see that the value reduced to 0.58 CR. So this is something concerning. And when you will be creating a report or a dashboard to represent this insight, you should be having a valid and appropriate reason to explain this change that why there is a dip in the profit, right? And, uh, we will further discuss about it that how you can do that. So let's say you decided you are creating a Power BI report, let's say, and you decided to represent the profit for Northern region in, uh, in that report, let's say using a line chart and let's try to create that line chart as well. So let's say this is the line chart that you have created. So here we have the year value available along the horizontal axis. And then we have profit values available along the vertical axis. And let's say here we have 2021, then we have 2022, then we have 2023, and then we have 2024. <coughs> Fine. So if I will create certain points to represent the uh, different profit values, so let's say here we have uh, one CR and here we have two CR. And let's say we are representing the data only for Northern region so far. So you know that for the year 2022, 2021, the value was more than two CR Then around the value was 2022. Also the value was equal to 2.11 CR. Then here as well, the value was approximately equal to 2.19 CR, but in year 2024, the value reduced to around 0.58 CR. So if I will create a line chart. So this is going to look something like this. So you can see that there is a dip in this value. Let's say there is point A that represents year 2021, then 2022 is represented by B, 2023 is represented by C and 2024 is represented by D. When you will be creating this chart and when you will represent this inside, then the stakeholders or the management might ask that what is the reason behind this change? And as a data analyst, this is your responsibility to rationalize the changes or the variations or the trends or the patterns that you observe or see in the data. So now, uh, let's say whenever you are creating the report, basically, or the dashboard, there is some source from which you bring the data. So let's say in this example, you are bringing the data from a database and let's take the example of, uh, on-prem data source, let's consider Microsoft SQL Server. So let's say you are using SQL Server as the data source. You are bringing the data from Microsoft SQL Server and you brought the data to Power BI and then you created this chart for Northern region that we have just discussed. And when you are extracting the data from SQL Server, so you have written a SQL code or SQL query for that. <coughs> The SQL query that you have written, you have used two tables in that SQL query. The very first table is the main table. Let's name it as table one. And then there is another table that you have used, which is named table two. And this table two is having the tax rate values available for certain region. So it is having tax rates value or tax rates available for certain regions, right? And the SQL query that you have written in the SQL query, you have used a formula 
you are a data analyst you know about sql so you have written that query in which a formula is there and this formula is uh, basically used to calculate the profit value and this profit value depends on the tax rates these profit values depend upon the tax rates and these tax rates are available in a table by the name table 2 right so when you are writing this sql query you have also used advanced sql concepts like the concepts of joins so you have basically used the concepts of joins you have used your technical expertise as well you join these two tables that is table 1 and table 2 and uh, then in the SQL code, overall code or query that you have written in that there's a formula which calculates the profit and this profit value is depending, dependent on the tax rates and the tax rate values are available in table two. Also, the table two or the data in table two is let's say maintained by some team by the name team X. they can change the value they can change the tax rate value in table 2 but they cannot decide the tax rate value in table 2 in order to decide the value that has to be input in table 2 they will have to confirm it with the business team so there is a business team who understands the business better who knows everything about the business and that business team will tell team X that now it is the time you have to change tax rates in table two. And if team X will make any changes to table two, so it will impact the profit value, which is reflected in your report as well, because in your SQL query, you are using a formula to calculate profit and profit depends upon tax rates. And these tax rates can be modified by changing the values in table two by team X but they will have to have a confirmation with the business team, right? So let's say uh, for Northern region, for Northern region, for Northern region, we can see a dip in the year 2024. So let's say for Northern region in the year 2024, the tax rates were increased right business team knows about it and the business team gave that instruction to team x as a result of which the tax rate values were updated in table 2 and table 2 was updated for northern region for the year 2024 and tax rates were increased and the sql query that you have used in it the profit value is dependent on tax rates so when the tax rate increased for northern region for the year 2024 suddenly the profit value reduced so this is the rational this is the reason that you will give to the business team and then the business team can take some decision based on that now they can further decide to uh, you know might be increase the rates of their products or services that they are offering or might be they can they can take some other decision in order to uh, increase their profitability in that region right they can decide something based on that but as a data analyst or might be in some organizations they might call you a business analyst as well so as a data analyst as a business analyst or a power bi developer or a tableau developer on whichever tool depending on the tool that you're working on you told the business that this is the reason since the tax rate value for 2024 year in the northern region have increased that's why the profit value reduced for this region in the year 2024 and you will also be sharing the email communication with the stakeholders and the business team if required so you should get this confirmation from the business team as well that the tax rates have changed in this region for this year now the business team knows about it and they can take some suitable business decision based on that. So now let's discuss what did you do? You help the business team, you help the stakeholders to take business decisions, right? Using the report 
that you created right and in order to create this report you will require technical expertise as well so let's say in this example we are using sql server so you will have to have the knowledge of sql as well let's say you are using power bi to represent the insight so you should be having the idea about power bi as well right in some organizations you might be uh, working with python as well right and uh, depending upon the organization you can be working on let's say tableau as well fine or you might be using excel as well right so all these uh, tools or subjects can be used by a data analyst to do effective storytelling and to represent the insights and help the businesses to take best possible business decisions for the least possible time and uh, that's why in order to explain all these uh, topics and concepts and tools and subjects uh, we have already launched a course and it is available on Udemy. So this is our course. We'll be providing you the link to this course in the description box below. So you can see that already there are more than 5,800 enrol enrollments and the rating is like around uh, more than 4.5. And apart from that, uh, you can see that as of now, it is in the category hot and new. And uh, there is one more good thing that the course value is around like less than 500 rupees. And uh, you can go for this course. And there is also one more good thing about this course that uh, you can try it for free for one month and uh, uh, you can go for a refund as well in case if you want to take a refund but you should at least give it a try and it's not even going to cost you like 500 rupees right as you can see that as of now the cost is 449 and i'll be providing the link in the description box below as well so you can go and buy this course if you want to and you can see that as of now more than 60 hours of video has already been uploaded and uh, you can see that we have already covered Python. So this is the curriculum. Uh, this is the curriculum for Python. And uh, then we have also discussed about statistics. We have discussed about Microsoft SQL Server. We have discussed about SQL assignments. There are certain SQL assignments that you can use to practice. We have also tried to cover advanced SQL. We are further going to enhance this content. We have uh, also discussed about uh, SQL functions, window functions, and uh, we have also covered uh, DAX. So there are certain lectures for DAX as well. You can go and have a look. We have covered Power BI. There are certain projects for Power BI. So we have sales data analysis. We have discussed about data modeling. We have discussed about data preparation, Power Query Editor, and different concepts have been uh, different parts and different concepts have been taken care of. There is this miscellaneous section as well. We have already added some content to it. We are further going to enhance it. And uh, there is content for Excel as well. And we are further going to update this content and we are going to add more content on Tableau and Snowflake as well. So you can go and try this course out. And if you want to understand about storytelling, like I've already explained in the example, if you want to know more about uh, the work of a data analyst, if you want to understand it better, and if you want to break into the data industry by becoming a data or a business analyst, you must try this course, right? So I hope this video was helpful and you got an idea and understanding about the work of a data analyst and uh, we'll meet in the next session. Till then, thank you. Bye-bye.